What's going on everybody? It's is Fry. So today we are doing an amphibious version of Countertron. Uh, this is really cool. So the main card I really am building this deck around is Snake. This is a card we used to use all the way back in the day in our amphibious Citron decks. And now that we know about Guardian Package and a little bit more of how to play Citron properly, I think this combo will work very well. Every once in a while you can sneak in a Snake Grass a slithery little snake on turn four if the opponent commits a four drop that will not contest your snake grass you play this in lane one and it just multiplies and gets out of control they're going to need so much uh so much many resources to deal with snake grass once it's even made one more snake uh but the main combo is you actually want to play snake grass on turn five which by the way is why i'm not running bird of paradise in this deck uh you mostly treat this as a turn five play you can play either with root wall which will give your base snake anyway four three and protect it from damage that turn ensuring that it lives uh, and better yet you can use peel shield which will protect the rest of the cards you have in the field this is a tempo deck so you're going to be establishing tempo the first few turns i'm only running uh, again i'm usually run galactic cactus didn't want that to bump uh too hard into the rotobega uh, but the uh, a really amphibious synergy we're running is marine beam this will gain one one for every amphibious plant uh, even this being a three cost four three amphibious is really good value a very very strong card and very difficult to deal with in the amphibious lane and every once in a while this will grow more than one one so it'll grow by a lot since we do have a lot of amphibious cards uh lima Pluridon is an amphibious card which anyway we run um in your citron you know guardian decks uh, Rotobega, again, you can play this very well if they play a card. Uh, this will be able to remove the, the cards for free. And again, you can use your photosynthesizers or your other protective cards in order to protect your Rotobega. Uh, particularly the Bog of Enlightenment. This will make your Rotobega then do four damage in two different lanes, making it do eight, which is ridiculous value. Um, and it will also protect your Rotobega from dying uh, because all the zombies in that lane will be doing two less damage. Uh, running Brainana as a finisher, which again, also happens to be an amphibious. So we're not really compromising very much on the deck list in order to really fit in some amphibious synergy. Uh, I think the bog really can work with, you know, a lot of all your amphibious plants running some sting bean for removal. Uh, and I was able to sneak in a couple Shrinking Violets. There's also a cool synergy between Shrinking Violet that destroys zombies with low health and bog with low attack. Because uh, the bog will give zombies low attacks. You'll be able to remove them more efficiently that way. Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. Should have time for 10 games with this because uh, they, they're not going to take very long here. We're going to be winning around turn 6 and stuff. Uh, so let's go for some predicts if you think we are going to win 7. I'm lowering the, the bar for predictions. So I'm going to go 7 out of 10. If you think this deck will win 7 out of 10, vote yes. 6 out of 10 is going to be a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. Only thing this deck is missing is grave removal. Let's we'll see if we can get some kind of... This is already a decent hand. Um, this is very good against the Smash Spring Bean. We also don't have any Amphibious Minions, so I think I'm gonna ditch Marine Bean for now. There you are. This is a fine starting hand, though. I have a lot of options. In fact, I'm probably gonna spam the Lime on one. Uh, the way, again, you play this against Guardian. If you play, um, if you play Forget-Me-Nuts on turn one, and they have a Rolling Stone in hand, so they just pass. That Rolling Stone costs two. Then you play your Triceratops, they just Rolling Stone the Triceratops. So, general, against Hardy, you don't want to play Forget-Me-Nuts on turn one, unless they do something stupid like that, uh, which is <laughs> Cat Lady. Um, do I do even the... Uh, I think I'm still doing this. Still doing the Lime of Pluridon, that will just be on the board. You know, Forget-Me-Nuts does not get any value this turn, because the opponent can't play tricks anyway. This is already putting Magic Beanstalks into the deck. Um, it's very likely... Oh, we have a couple of plays we can do now. Really kind of silly putting Cat Lady on the board dry because something just gets, gets to attack it for free. Um, so there's two options here. One is to just say develop Triceratops and say screw it. Um, I could grow the Cat Lady by and protect the Lima. I can also just bog here. Uh, Smash does have a one cost environment, Black Hole. I'm pretty sure the most solid play is just to develop Triceratops and let Lima die. Uh, Forget Me Nuts would prevent Smash Power, but that's always gonna happen if he has Smash Power. It's gonna. So this traded very good with one of the engines of his deck. Let's see if we can deal with this Freddy Kiss somehow. We can. I didn't think about. Um, I, I, I maybe I would have put this in lane one. Usually this doesn't want to be on Heights because of Alienus. Rotobega is actually one way to just kill this Freddy Cat. Okay, the opponent passed. 
Which means we kind of want to forget me nuts here. I could forget me nuts bog. That's a weird play. The opponent's very likely going for an environment if they passed on turn three anyway, like an area 22. <clears throat> Um, I could just forget me nuts and use the walnut and see what we get. I guess forget me nuts will go on heights because it will play around his total eclipse environment. I'm gonna protect this in case this moves over. And yep, looks like that's all we're doing. We have like Rotobega Bog next turn, which is pretty good. That actually played around Area 22 really well, getting that on heights. This will win the trade, you know. And the opponents again. Couldn't play like going viral or anything because the forget me nuts gets a lot of value to continue my explanation from before forget me nuts you want to play on turn three especially a turn like that where they pass because if you played on turn one smash anyway is not developing anything on turn one he doesn't have like an eptuna superpower uh but even then if they pass turn three with just the going viral or uh or some other alien or some other card that they're gonna play that's really the turn that you want to start playing your um you, you wanna you wanna play because it did not really forget me nuts denied three brains there if he was going for going viral. So this is a pretty easy play. We're gonna go Rotobega and Bog. If he has an environment, obviously totally clips will two for one, but even area twenty-two, it's okay. That doesn't give him any value. We're killing this for free. We'll do eight damage this turn. If he plays area twenty-two, he basically loses, so we don't really have to play around that. He alien who's a, a, a one health guy. Like that's what he, he was going for alien who's last turn. I don't know what he was trying to do exactly. But yeah, so we still have our 5-7 two-cost card on the board. That's fair. And now we have 1-1-3. One, one, we can bounce whatever stupid card he plays here. <laughs> uh, this happens. We'll protect you, because why not? It's more important than the 2-2. Two, two. And we just have a Brainana that will absolutely decimate this guy next turn. Pretty much guaranteed. So I I'm just changing the score to 1. I want to know it's going to dominate it. You didn't get to see any snake grass there. The bog was good though. The bog, the bog didn't do anything. This is just Countertron dominating as it always does. For real, one of the absolute best decks in this game. In my opinion, in my opinion, it goes after the lineman instead of the forget me not. This man ain't that smart. Brainana just wins. Brainana straight up wins the game. We can even make it do more damage in the amphibious lane. Should we go fancy? Should we pretend the bog did anything this round and by playing Brainana in two? Yeah, that makes it guaranteed if you cover lane one. Thank you! Thank you! Yes, look, it's six damage Brainana. Bog OP, guys. Got him. Is it better to craft Forget Me Nuts or Triceratops? That's tough. A Triceratops, I think, is better. Honestly, though, you can get four Forget Me Nuts for the cost of one Triceratops. You also could, like, build budget Guardian Package, technically, if you just want to use cards like Juggernaut or other good two drops, like maybe Rotobega, maybe, like, Corndog. Uh, the Forget Me Nuts is a really important part of that. So maybe, maybe really, maybe you do craft four Forget Me Nuts. I mean, it's also is an event card. I don't know when in the year that happens. I don't know if there's any list of the yearly event cards. This is a really, really good hand though. One to the two to the three. So we don't mulligan that. It's a little weak against Weed Spray, but we'll play around that. The, the, the Triceratops will have three attack on turn three. At least the first one we play. So Weed Spray's not so bad. This draws out. Oh, I'm so dry. The Lima on draws out Rolling Stone. So your Triceratops doesn't get removed by a great hand. Lima on again against hardy heroes who have Rolling Stone is way better than Forget Me Nuts for turn one. You know, for turn three, it might be a different story. Because they have a lot of three cost tricks they play. The human immune system definitely cannot evolve. That would be incredibly dangerous. Why? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. 
Of course it evolves. If you believe in evolution, you think our immune system is exactly the same as it was a million years ago? There's no freaking way that's true. No freaking way. <clears throat> Disease kills a bunch of people. Everyone who's left mixes their genes together. You end up with a stronger gene pool. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, it's tempting, but I think this is fine. I hope the opponent plays, like, something stupid on turn two that dies to... I don't know what it would be. Even, like, Cyborg definitely doesn't. Opponent had bats. Could be worse. It's gonna be a little bit hard to develop tempo against this Immortitia. That's probably just gonna... I don't know. Let's see if we can... <laughs> we top deck a Triceratops here. We'll be in good shape. So again, what kills this? Everything. Everything kills this. So be it. So be it, Russia. Should I play the bog first to play around beat me up exactly? There's Nibble. You know, we're, 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 this is good into like Cryobrain. Yeah, into Nibble doesn't do anything. We are so bricked. Incredibly bricked. This will, this walnut, what this does is it plays around. Um, like next turn, if he plays Bounty Hunter, we could actually play Snakes and take advantage. Uh, I think we pass here. These photos, I think, are going to be way more useful than on the walnut. Maybe he has alien news we'll use on a walnut here. There's Cryo, right? So this will be a very difficult card unless he has, you know, Locust Swarm if he's running that. That would be very sad indeed. I think I'm going to save this. This anyway lives. There's no card he's going to teleport in for four that does six damage, right? So I think I'm going to save this for turn five together with the snakes, make it not die to extinction event. The man leads a leap. Very badly. Okay? Great. We didn't play around. Tell, uh, transformation station beat me up. My bad. Uh, opponent cannot have evaporate. So this Triceratops is still pretty good to go here. But it could be going for alien news right now. Probably let's just do this, and if they have alien news, then so be it. But yep, photosynthesizer, another way to activate the snake. Look at the this is actually just a Pecanolith deck. We have the walnut, we have wingnut in hand. This is just gonna be a Pecanolith game. Luckily this will leap. Is forced to alien use this. It just saves. It just saves the Triceratops from the alienus. So this is still a huge card that again, opponent's gonna need a lot of removal cards this game, and that was one of them just gone from, you know, whatever. It means that we have another threat here. Uh, there's a point where Brainana is gonna be awesome. I think this is that point. Is that usually teleportation zombie? It usually is. Brainana would would drain five brains. I can't imagine. I mean, gentleman zombie. I can't imagine it being anything other than gentleman zombie. Maybe it's chemist. Against chemist, Brainana is just ah. Uh, this will automatically kill the bucket bay too. Like if we be candle if this turn, the Brainana becomes pretty awesome next turn. It also then dies to the to the, tra the 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 transformation. I, I think Brainana is the player. It's pretty damn good. Teleportation zombie? No, it's Chemist. It's okay. It's a item a card. You like him losing more brains than just, you know, three there. So Spring Bean should be really good. Is he running this card? He's running Garg. Really weird. But anyway. 
Keeping this wing nut safe is going to be really good if he's running a... I mean, it, it must be Garg Trickster, right? He's running some kind of Garg deck. I think I'm actually going to put this here. It doesn't die to Alienus. That's pretty damn good. I will pick Canalith in, in like two or three next turn. It's a really good value spring beam, though. There's Alienus. If he replays the Garg in lane 5, probably will. Marine Bean grows by 1 here. <laughs> so it's Pecanolith plus Marine Bean, I guess? Does Pecanolith go here? Uh, I think Pecanolith is going here. 5 and 3, right? It means we're taking 5, but it's okay. He can't do bonus attacks. This again grows by... It's, it's just a proc of a block this turn, then we have so much damage on his face. I don't really like this play that he did with a Mime in one. I don't really see what that does, but the Mime just gets obliterated here. Absolutely demolished. Freeze. Okay, that was good. Conjured Frosty Mustache. Pretty lucky. But now the Mime's down to one. It's not even a threat. Proc the block. Uh, Shrinking Violet could be good here. Let's see. Let's see what he plays. We got the bog and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow, so the cool thing is, even though everything's attacking using its health, the bog ends up being pretty damn good here. Because now we can actually remove a whole nother card off the board. With the shrinking. Again, it doesn't really affect this lane, but it clears two lanes here, which is pretty damn good. Question is, should I play Bog? Or should I play Triceratops for three more damage? This is probably better. Cause three plus three wins, so that's a humongous threat on this board right now. Chemist actually wins that trade, but this guy's got a really play defensive. Evaporate. What is this? Here, let me read the donation. Sorry, I missed it. Thank you to Brig Move. You donated $69? Are you kidding me, bro? Thank you! Whoa! Well, mama. Uh, I think that's okay. We usually win. Uh, uh. Roll the three? Roll one, please? Yes? Yes! Says long time watcher, first time caller. Your vids got me through COVID lockdowns. Keep up the fun content. Thank you so much, Brig Move. Real appreciate it. What a dono. I don't know. I I don't know what to say. You got it. You got it. You guys got the guy got the pun. You guys got the the, the funny funny. You get it. Are you not entertained by my dad jokes? Yeah, not a very nice amount of money. Money. Uh, Spring Bean against Neptuna, not really all that. This is a very cool looking hand, though. I, I might even forget me nuts on one, because if the Rolling Stone slows down, I think I'm just going to pull the trigger here. Uh, what about lanes? Like, do I want to play around... I think I'm gonna put this here. Snake Grass wants to go in one always. I think I'm gonna put this on the ground. Really doesn't have like you know any cards like Acid Rain or or Total Eclipse that kill things with one health on the ground. This just makes it a lot easier for Rota Vega to protect it the next turn. So maybe we'll have that. So that's a sumo. That's always a sumo. Um, the 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 solid play here would be to Lima Pluridon Protect. It means we don't have our Protect for later. And then on turn 3, I'll have a 4-3 Marine Bean. Lima ends up trading well here. Uh, this Forget-Me-Nuts gets off the hook. I mean, this is always... Unless it's a Swashbuckler, in which case I need to do the same play. If I play, like, you know, Roto in 2, it doesn't work out. I'm gonna do this for Tempo. <laughs> Not bad. No! It's Swash! We got lucky. I played around Sumo. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
It's past turn one, Swash on two, but we killed it. I mean, we just killed his whole deck by killing that Swash. Oh, I'm so happy about that. It turns out the Rotobega, no, it wouldn't have even done it because it would have grown to 3-3. Three, three. Ridiculously good. So this is very likely going to be a Flame Face. So I'm just going to do it like this. Look how big all of a sudden the um, the Marine Bean is becoming. Yes, Flame Face dies to Rotobega. Look at Rotobega getting value here. Killing again. Another engine. Another one bites the dust. Let's go. Yes, proc the block. We're doing some decent damage. We have a board. The opponent doesn't have nothing, nothing. If he goes after Rotobega with a with a minion, I'm just setting up snake grass. Otherwise, we can go like Marine Bean. The opponent can't play any tricks. Oh, is snake grass? I mean, it's so weird. This does five. Uh, I do want to block this. It just depends where this goes. Like, this is going to move. So if it moves here, Snake Grass and one is amazing. If it goes here, it dies for free. If it goes here, it kind of dies for free, too. I mean, is this when I Snake Grass? Or do I just Marine? Marine Bean does so much damage. Marine Bean is going to do five here. And then I can photosynthesize nothing. What's in the box? I'm gonna grow this. Oh wait, oh, it didn't do anything. I'm dumb. Whoops, I wasted the photosynthesizer because the timer was running out, but I, I totally misplayed that. My bad. I mean, this is still doing four though. Can we, no. I, I screwed up that play, too bad. We need a snake grass, probably we just snake grass was the play. I need Thanks more for time all to the great about. content. Yeah, I, I kind of royally messed up everything here. This is okay. Either plane this goes to, yeah, we make a good trade. There's freeze, but it doesn't remove the snake grass, so that's just free now. I think we're in good shape. We'll have snake grass plus an environment next turn, which is awesome. Yeah, you're right. Marine should have gone in three because the Rotobago would just kill it for free. I can afford to take five damage. It, not, nothing about that play made sense. It was just a misplay. Simple as that. Look at this, though. So I'm going to play a dry snake grass in lane 5 just to threaten lethal. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's just bog, because that will probably make the minion in lane 2 not kill it. It could be another yeti. This is pretty darn good. If it's not a yeti... Yep, and then it doesn't die. The snake grass will die in three, but then we just get another snake grass. And we'll see what the opponent can do with three brains with a forget me nuts on the board. Basically nothing. Laser base. Laser base, I guess, in two. In which case we win, because you need to block blow in order to be able to survive. That's frenzy. I think we win. I mean, we'll have three minions on the board. The opponent's going to have to. Roll, get, bl blow, which I think is the last superpower. It's basically going to be a 1 in 3 of surviving here. I, if the last one's encrypt, I don't know if it's encrypt. It's it's blow. Does Neptune even have encrypt? I don't remember. Can we knock at lane 5, please? Yes! Yes! Snake grass game! That's what I'm talking about. That was not bad. That was not bad at all. <laughs> Despite my blunders, we still win. Fry, what's the corniest piece of media uh, you've ever seen? Well, it's definitely one that I've created. <laughs> and it's tied for first place. One is my old intro. With the... Fry am up. The other one was a piece of media... <laughs> I'm just going to diss my own stuff instead of someone else's. Okay, corniest piece of media is just the show Modern Family. That's the real answer. Uh, but of what I've made, this is tied between my old intro and my... Everything is a meme video for PVC Heroes. I don't know why I thought that was going to be a funny idea. It just didn't work at all. It's been so long on that, too. PVC Heroes, but everything is a meme. 
Is that even listed still on YouTube? Did I unlist that out of shame? What is with the Morticia? This isn't the same guy, is it? This is a really bad card against the Morticia. Oh, it's so much better. These Triceratops are going to dominate. And Morticia just can't deal with Triceratops. Punta! This is going well. Are, are, am I 3 0? Am I really 3 0 right now? It feels like I've played three games, doesn't it? We beat a Smash. Then we played a Morticia with the with all the leaps. Then we played Neptuno. You're right, we are 3 0. Have this deck's 3 0. Let's go. With the power of Guardian Package. Uh, I'm really wondering about where the Rotobega goes. I guess it goes in two. All right. We'll leave it. We'll leave two spots for the Rotobega. <laughs> Listen, he'll have an extra brain every turn, so maybe it will be able. To, I don't think he's going to be able to catch up from this though. This is an insurmountable lead against the Morticia. I can't even imagine what the Morticia would be planning here. Like, what is that going to be? A chemist? I'll tell you what, it's not going to work. Uh, question is, I'm always playing this here. Should the Photosynthesizer go lane 4 to play around just bats exactly? Or should I just beef this up? We haven't really seen a superpower, so chances of Evaporate are really high. We, if we saw Summoning... Acid Rain. I, I think we're going to play around Evaporate in any way, buff the card that needs it. And we got another photo. Photo from photo is 100% fine when you have three Dino Roars. And okay, so it's instead of Chemist, a Trick or Treater. There's Acid Rain, so no Evaporate. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And this... <laughs> we're drawing. Oh, I feel so bad for this guy. Am I not pronouncing Rotovega correct? It's Rutabaga, so it's Rotovega. Oh, I got it right. Okay, so the question is what now? Shrinking on just this one card, it'll save a treat. I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep on buffing you. The, the Kyuk is like the worst card to get from Photo, unfortunately. Should I play around him having an environment? I can save this for later to get a better Shrinking Violet. Like, I guess Sugary Treat, Healthy Treat, will bring this up to six. So let's actually play around Sugary Treat, Healthy Treat. Now Sugary Treat. Well, Sugary Treat, Sugary Treat will do something. He doesn't cover my environment. Very strange indeed. Okay, he's gonna... Well, he's looking for... Well, he's going to play Sugar Retreat in four. That makes sense. To kill that one. No, he doesn't have Sugary! He he drew two treats and he doesn't have it. Oh, feels bad, man. Yeah, we're going to Shrinking Violet his, his entire life next turn. Trust me. That one we're going to Shrinking. They don't have anything to, else to do anyway. Oh my gosh, we can actually Mog Transmogrify Shrinking Violet. Look at the synergy, guys. Into Brainana on six is going to kill him. We have perfect plays the next two turns. I mean, picture perfect. Everything he plays dies to Mog, unless he gets some stupid thing from Mog. Like, well, can't well, Mini Ninja dry, I guess? Yeah, he gets a, you know, a tennis champ. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. What is this going to be? It'll just be some stupid chemist. I'm pretty sure this Ligma just goes faster. It's another Trick or Treater. You guys know. You guys know. What are you linking, I see? I'm not clicking on uh, Twitch used to like, give little previews of what links are. It doesn't do that anymore. I like that. Uh, okay. Well, where did he get Dance Floor from? He got it from... Can I... Can I... I can't click on the card? It's from Summoning. Oh. I didn't know. Yes, get wrecked. So we're 4 now. La 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 la. <laughs> it's just Guardian Package. That's all that's happening here. Are we still talking about how the uh, immune system of human beings evolves? 
I was like, oh, it's gonna happen. This guy's name is not a hacker123. Um, I'm going to say right now, before this game even starts, I'm reserving the right to not count this game. It really depends on what the deck looks like. If his deck is 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 not super overpowered, I guess I'll count it. How come my uh, my scorecard's all messed up? It's supposed to be green in the middle. Right? Maybe on my on my computer it's not like okay. Unos dos tres. Is this good? I don't know. Because it's the same thing. He's just gonna Rolling Stone this one. Um, all right. Uh, okay, I, I, you know what? I, I ran out of time because I was talking to the chat, but I'm just trying to think of what... How actually should I have mulliganed this hand? It's very unlikely for the Rotobega to be good. This actually increases the chance of it being good by a lot. This dies. He really didn't like the forget-me-nots, huh? All right, well, this actually works now. I'll just put it here. It'll kill the flag zombie over the course of two turns. Uh, not a hacker seems to be running some typical flag swarm and didn't get a great starting hand, so I think I'm gonna count this game unless he plays like. Unless he plays <laughs> three more genetic experiments right now. So this is interesting. I could go Triceratops combo into this. I can also just go 4 3. Developing Triceratops early is really important. Um, I wonder what that, I have really no idea what that is. It could have three attack, it has a flag on the field. Actually, well, two damage, bullseye, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll do this, and, alright, you know, if it has three attack, then so be it. Oh my gosh. Flag? It, guys, he's running some, he's running his own version of Sun Bandits. Look at this guy. He's running Flag Sun Bandits. Not a bad idea, actually. It's Flag Bandits. I only have three brains. I'm so upset. What is this gonna be? Another one, right? So I'll kill it. Killing it is the play. That's a pretty good play. It's the same thing. So it'll take four and two and we win this trade. Lovely. So I'll have four now. <laughs> Think you're gonna be able to play that around me? I played some bandits. I played some bandits two times in the last week, two streams in the last week, and I have a third one I'm gonna show you with uh, my new version with Mechasaur. It's actually Parasol Mechasaur. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. This Marine Bean actually still gets value here. He passes turn five. Snake is really actually decent here. Uh, I think Mog Marine Bean. This is a Mogable minion, right? Alright, let's Mog. Is there anything this Mogs to that kills my 1-1? One, one? No. Let's see what's in the box. And I'll just put this face. And it's just another huge minion on the board. He lost his momentum. I could have Snake Rest there. But uh, I think Mogging, I think that's a worthy Mog. So we have a 4-6. He's not going to be able to teleport into a 4-6. There's no freaking way. He's not going to be able to untip and teleport water lane. Really nice to set up a second thing. Otherwise, he would have rocketed the snake. I think the snake's still going to get value. There's actually not a lane for it anymore. But this marine bean is set up. Maybe the snake was better there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> he's just being a piece of garbage. Now what? He's just being stupid. Uh, so Snake is more on curve here. I mean, we have we have two shots at his face. We should have him here. Chop doesn't do anything. Heal well. This guy's, mind this guy's literally running Sun Bandits into me. What an absolute atrocity. Uh, if he gets Chop, we win, and Nerf would save him. Like, he got Chop, really unfortunate. Rockwall also makes us win. We didn't really see a superpower out of him that game, right? Oh no, he used Nerf, lane one. Yes, we had two-thirds of a chance of, uh, of lethal there. Yes!
Um, I'm going to ask the chat. I hardly ever intervene. You guys are having a long, long conversation about something that has nothing to do with the stream. Can you guys please connect, uh, DM each other? Um, you guys obviously have each other's Twitch names. Can you guys please continue the evolutionary biology? A little short this, that is fine. But you guys have literally been going on for like the last 25 minutes. So let's try to try to keep it to PVZ heroes and, and that sort of stuff in the chat, please. Thank you! It's just a distracting. <laughs> Having a big debate. Uh, yeah. Pretty damn good. Uh, so against Boogaloo, it's kind of similar, because he has two lightning bolt powers, and you really don't want those hitting your Triceratops. I'm going to do this anyway, though. We're five and oh, geez. <laughs> Teleport raw zombie. That guy. Some bandits is gonna become meta, guys. So what is this? It's either conga, newspaper, rat, squirrel. This is always the play. What lane? I'm not really worried about his amphibious minions, so I'm gonna put the here and make the Roto Vega potential draw. Wow, this Giga Chad. This this fella decided to run newspaper. He woke up today and said, I'm running newspaper zombie. I might have to mog that. That's pretty scary. We is doing that. I'll take the F311 buff and play this later. I don't need this yet. I'm probably just going to play you and mog here. Uh, what's more likely to get another one drop? Probably this rather than photo, but I'm probably just playing both here anyway, right? That's thick. Should I play Triceratops in order to be a greedy bastard? And Mog next turn. Like the greedy bastard I am. I think it's too greedy. I think we're going to have a pretty good shrinking violet next turn. Let's get this out of fruitcake range right now. <laughs> That's a great play. If he's running Fruitcake as removal, we just won because he Fruitcake's a 5 9 and it grows. He needs to basically two Fruitcakes now. Yeah, so this will set up. If we draw something, it'll work with the Triceratops. Otherwise, Triceratops, we just let that out to dry and we just uh, trans. We just uh, Shrinking Violet next turn. We got the full block meteor 10 health. He's at 13. We'll have a board. He don't. This is a, a play, though. Let's see what he does. Man, he's like, <laughs> desperate. Honestly, this is not... I, I'm just developing you. Screw this. Let's see if we can get a one drop to play in lane two or something. That's okay. They don't need to shrinking. These cards are not impactful enough. Uh, they also proc the block this turn, which is an extra 2-2 two -two buff on our board because of the Triceratops growing. So that's awesome. <laughs> he's trying to set up an alien. Look at this guy trying to deal with it. Now he's going face. Uh, definitely don't need to protect, so I will take the buff and do this next turn. Four more buffs. We're going to do eight bullseye here. So it's just shrinking, violet, protect. Should be pretty good. He's going to try to alien. Alien news doesn't even... <laughs> I mean, it'll reduce it to zero attack. But... I think we have to shrinking here. Oh my gosh, look how good the shrinking violet is. The shrinking violet is literally insane. Does it get a one drop? No, we don't. Absolutely no need for any of that. Uh, and just to pile on the damage this turn, which this is going to be lethal. I mean, let's be real, guys. He doesn't even have a evaporate or anything. Yeah. That boogaloo, that guy. That guy. He had the newspaper on turn two, which was pretty impressive. Otherwise, that guy's the deadest guy. Fruitcake, plumber. See, I think... We got him to nine, so so okay. Plumber fruitcake would have taken there. But still, man, the chances of having that. This guy's trying to alien who's like a five nine, hmm. with no environment. He drew the environment after the alien is. Poor lad. Poor lad indeed. You gotta start with the early game. I guess we'll start with this. This forget me nots is actually surprisingly good against brain freeze. Uh, let's see what we get here. I'd love to get a one or two. Playing that on Heights Player on Acid Rain and keep the ground lane. 
alien who's free lane. Oh, sheesh. Toxic. Let's see if we can get a one drop here. I'd love to see it. Oh, we actually top decked an answer to Toxic Waste Imp. Bro, are you kidding me? So we'll do this next turn. Oh, amazing. If he contests the Forget Me Nuts, if not, well, we'll see what we get. Nope. It's probably just going to be, hopefully he plays in lane one. We pull this in. And we'll, we have the snake grass now, like in three, so it'll have a couple lanes to spread. Look at this play here. Ridiculous. Disgusting. <laughs> deadly my ass. Deadly my ass. It's the deadly deck, guys. From Clash Royale King. Is deadly a thing in Clash Royale? Oh, that would be okay. Is there any card that insta kills? As if it were deadly. We have a lot of really, really good plays. Now they commits a gravestone. So to play around Pogo, this is the play around Pogo. It could just be another deadly. There's so many things that go right here. Oh man, if it's not Pogo, Snakegrass is, is definitely the play. Snakegrass wins if this is not Pogo. And Pogo doesn't make sense here against a 2-3. It's probably just another smelly zombie. And he can't play any one drops. No, we're going to go for the snake. It can't be Pogo. Why would he play it in lane two? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's a rat. So this guy's got one, one basically I one brain, because of forget me nuts, to deal with a 4-2. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Oh, for real, bro. <laughs> smoke bomb, great. This guy just like <laughs> the rat. He just shat and then smoke bombed away. God damn it. He had it. Okay. I am still feeling pretty good here. Now what? Surprise, Garg? <laughs> Has he had some kind of moving deck? He could have another smoke bomb. I don't know. I'm gonna go for this again, I think. I don't really see anything else. Okay. So Yeti, again, now none of his superpowers, his superpowers are freeze, which is kind of stupid, but we have the spring bean, so we'll take five damage, we can afford it. Uh, what was that donation just now? Sorry, I missed something. It was Lazarus gifting 200 biddies. Thank you. Would you have believed you would have gone undefeated with a snake grass deck? Yeah, well, it's dominating. We take those. We actually have double marine bean here, which is stupidly ridiculous. Um, I think I'm going to go single marine bean with the cheese. With the mac and cheese. I just don't feel like dying to his free superpower. You know? We'll let him have that back. It costs five. La 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 Acid rain, acid rain. Wow. How does he have so many answers, bro? That's crazy. He's smoke bombing that where, though? And then he buffs it. I mean, that just took... It took three cards to kill a 5-4. I mean, he has Yeti still in his hand, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Let's play around Yeti. So Yeti does five. Does he have a superpower still? He used, uh, Embiggen. His four superpowers, again, are Freeze, Galvanize, Blow. He did not use Blow, right? And Acid Rain. He did use Acid Rain. So he doesn't actually have the Freeze superpower. I don't have to play on that at all. This is his Yeti. We know that. Triceratops right now is a bit slow. I think this is a good play. He's going to freeze this. It's okay. Actually, since he's going to freeze this turn, we might as well develop Triceratops, right? Yes. We just go and face. We'll play the blog next turn. Because he's always freezing the, the 8 damage anyway, so there's no point. Now he'll just freeze like the 4-3. It doesn't matter when he freezes. It's 4 damage. And we'll do this next turn with Brianna. That's a good card. And Triceratops now starts growing. Like, it, earlier developed this, obviously, anymore it does. Brianna in one looks good. Just a chump block. We're just racing him now. We wow, we burn six. We, we take those. Yo, I don't even play this and we're game, getting eight damage. This is going to do ten. Holy moly, with look at the Rotobega. 
Roto Vega with Brainana is weird synergy because it's so easy to remove, but Brainana, Brainana just prevents that from happening. Opponent is not gonna block again this game, which is so cool. So I, there's no free superpower. Opponents gonna have to put eight damage together and remove a card with three cards in hand and nine brains. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just pummel. That doesn't help at all. Zero. And that's going to be game. He has one card. Nibble, I don't do a damn thing. Yes! Yes! Honestly, that Yeti was kind of scary, but... <laughs> We're 7-0. Oh. There, the Triceratops did not carry, right? That was just... That was just Rotobega and, and Marine Bean just carrying a game. Love it. Sorry, I missed another dono. Thank you, Sun Fur. Welcome to the... Oh, six months? Let's go. Oh, yeah, the, the answer is yes, like, a long time ago, right? Oh, no, seven and oh, no, yes, the answer is yes, no. Congratulations to the 74% who believed in Guardian Package. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior deck. The deck that gets free wins. The strat that gets just automatic. This is so good. With the photo, it means we save from weed spray. Lovely. Maybe we'll get a marine bean at some point. Yeah, I know, Maniacal would have been really. <laughs> but yeah, we'll absorb the rolling stone here. That's fine. <laughs> Can't shout out people's birthdays, because if you have a stream with 300 people, it's someone's birthday literally every day. So it's either Teleportation Zombie, Drone Engineer, or Sumo. I'm not going to play around Sumo. I think it's always Triceratops anyway, right? Uh, Triceratops actually kills Teleportation. Teleportation Zombie is going to be a major problem. I'm going to do this here. Uh, I'm just thinking 1 plus 2 next turn plus 2 from the Rotobega kills a Teleportation Zombie, which is about a... 80% chance, that's what it is. So, uh, I think this will be good. Uh, we'll protect, we can even Rotobega, well... Yeah, I guess Rotobega with the Root Wall, maybe? Oh, now we have another Triceratops. Which is so good. I'm gonna save the Root Wall, maybe, for later. I think I'm just gonna develop a second Triceratops here. Uh, don't want him teleporting in anything into this. I'm just gonna be like you, right here. And we'll put Rotobega somewhere. Just develop the Triceratops. Can't go wrong, right? Yeah, we're shooting for that 10 and 0, we'll see. It's Pagarazzi. Does they have a Rolling Stone for lane two? Oh my god, this is not what we want to see. You know, we have Shrinking Violet. Ooh, it means he doesn't have a Rolling Stone. That's way better than a Rolling Stone. Uh, we have a Shrinking Violet in the deck. If we top deck Shrinking Violet this second, it's 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 the entire game. The entire game will go in our favor if we top deck one of our two Shrinkings. No, that's not bad though. That's not bad at all. Uh, I think this and Protect is really good. What's the problem? The teacher or the paparazzi? They're both huge problems. Humongous problems. Na, 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 na. I'm pretty sure the one we protect here, though, is the for Gourmet Nuts. The teacher is so annoying. Na, 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 you were the cam destroyer? GG. Oh, wow, just draws cards. No one drop would be lovely because the paparazzi and two dies. Then we get four bullseye. Oh, we're actually we're actually in shape. Down to ten. Proc the block. This is still really scary. Can these paparazzis, if we don't have an answer, I don't have spring bean or anything. Um, I think this environment is okay. It's going to be adding just 
damage. What is this? Is he hacking? Teleportation zombie. We saw three teachers and two paparazzis. Well, we'll find out next turn if he's hacking, but that's just really lucky. I know he drew a couple of cards. That's really good. See, that means now... I mean, he's just going to play a, a string of going virals, and we're never going to know if this will. Okay, if it's a hacker. <laughs> okay. Well, we're seeing a variety of cards. He's probably just really lucky. Uh, I would have frenzied lane one, but it's just me. He does not have going viral, which is the key here. That means that anytime we top deck a shrinking violet, he didn't frenzy lane one, so the forget me nuts is still active. I don't know. That seems a little crazy to me. Uh, we will do this next turn for show. For show. It grows these, so everything's going to be out of the weed spray range. This is a very decent play next turn. Here's Marine Beam. Is that better than snakes? Na 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 karacha, la karacha. Decent play. Maybe he just has no tricks. <gasps> oh my gosh, don't play going viral. We'll win. We'll literally win if you don't play going viral this turn. Literally. Uh oh, God damn it. Okay, don't have any more going virals. We're still doing five, four, and four, so he's gotta have like two more. Rolling Stone, so he gives us a free snake rest. Thanks? Why would you Rolling Stone that? And that was it! So all of his teachers die anyway. I don't even need the shrinking. The shrinking will just be for the next wave of minions. Plus, we get a free snake rest! <laughs> I mean, he saved two damage this turn, and we have a four, two now. Bruh. Now we just need one spring bean and we'll be fine. Honestly, this paparazzi could still just OTK us here. There's Trickster. More like Redixter. Uh, he's not playing any tricks this turn. This will go up to three, four, five. This will actually have four health. Yes, yeah, so the shrinking doesn't really do anything, does it? This will be, a, again, a, a, a five, four. We usually just win. Like, what is this even going to be for three cost? Should I play around some trick? Honestly, it's probably just forget me nuts. I don't need more damage. If we, if he has no trick, let's say it's a two cost card, he still can't play anything. I don't really understand this at all. Teleportation zombie is the one thing that actually works here. Too bad. No, he doesn't have a one drop though. He has two cards in hand. So he gets 10 damage. Congrats. Teleportation zombie dies for free. Shrinking Violet ends up being not useful, but unless he rolls double threes, we got him. Okay. <laughs> that was so much less scary. Than <laughs> I mean, this paparazzi, if he had a couple tricks in hand, he has like one more thinking cap, we just lose because it just OTKs us. But anyway. Uh, imagine he frenzied the paparazzi. Oh, yeah, we would have dead like three turns ago. Jeez, come on, man. Come on, man. He played four teachers. No, uh, he wasn't even hacking. He just had three teachers and two paparazzis and a teleportation zombie in the starting hand. Bro. Trickstarazzi, man. Snake grass ain't bad against Neptuna. This looks like a good starting hand. We have three early game cards. Honestly, Snake is like, unless it's Pogo. It's pretty damn dangerous. Let's full draw the... You guys know how it works. Yeah, it gets bounced. So use this card to give us a one drop back in our hand. I'll just replay like on turn three. Amazing. Rotobega. That dies for free. We'll kill it for free. It's no need to get four damage. Here. La Puparazzi. La Puparazzi. Just in case he's running. You know, he's running this. He could have like a fossil head. I don't want to deal with that crap. Citron's actually really weak to fossil head. Doesn't have any really like minion based removal unless you're running Leaf Blower for some reason. So again, this is Neptuna. So it's either going to be Sumo. Possible Sumo. Then there's Swashbuckler. And you know, it probably is Sumo. I 
Grand Sumo, there's actually a little bit of a different play here. Well, I probably want to protect this, right? And then play, then what am I playing, Bog? You know what? I'm gonna slow play this. I'm gonna do it like this. There's no need to get greedy. I'll do like Rotobega Bog next turn. This is fine. This is all we need to do here. It's actually Pyrmonkus. <laughs> so he's running Buried Treasure. He's running Middle Manager. So I guess Buried Treasure and Pirates? It's a pirate deck though, I guess. I suppose. But yeah, the Bog just became really good. So it's Gravestone, that's fine, we'll just bog. If he commits something stupid, we'll just snake. I'll let this I'll let this die. So there's that. No snake. La paparazzi. Yeah, he could be spending three on an environment, it's possible. I'm pretty sure this is just the most solid play. No, he needs an environment or else he gets wrecked for a lot here. He could have like a, um, he stole the last thing, the Monkus animation. He could have like going viral, which is okay because it kills the Rotobega. Yeah, that's a really good play. Damn. Uh, was I supposed to play around that way? Play around Laser Base Alpha on turn three. In this deck, I have no idea what's even going on. Hey, maybe we should make a deck where you set up Pod Fighter. Well, hear me out, guys. Set up Pod Fighter, and then you put Snake Grass like here, and then every time it makes a snake, it does an extra bonus attack. That would be awesome. Uh, so there's a couple of plays. There are several plays. There's Snake Grass set up. There's Rotobega. I think it's just Snake Grass right now. I don't want to take this damage and have them start conjuring stuff. It's a free trade. Very little Neptuna can do about a 4-4 with two brains. So we're taking a little bit of heat here. We're also dishing a little heat. We're actually way ahead. We will be holding on to not thank you very much. I'll probably just go Pod Fighter and then, like, Walnut in two. Oh, they're shrinking. Oh, there's so many options. <laughs> it's for free! The shrinking could be amazing here. Yeah, shrinking could just win straight up. Look at this. Look at this little juicy shrinking violet. There's also like this play. Like, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go bog in a different lane and shrinking for the win. Watch him play something with like three or four attack. And we'll just bog shrinking here. There's so many plays. But still the play with the pod fighter doing damage in lane one and then activated by the uh you know opponent only has four health so this also dies we take two damage and we get an extra free snake next turn so. <laughs> letting two damage hit our face we have 10 health we'll be okay this guy's probably just biting the bullet anyway do 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 another one but the dust look how much value the snake got though man i think our our mistake in past amphibious decks we're saying, hmm, it's Amphibious Energy, we have to run uh, Navy Beam, the four-cost card that buffs your Amphibious by 1-1 one, one and is totally never worth it. No, you don't need any of that. Just run Bog and Marine Beam and Snakes with Citron. It's so good. Look at the Snake Protect play winning the game there. What would be frustrating? Oh, the, the, I was joking about the Pod Fighter Snake deck, by the way. That was a complete joke. That's <laughs> me, I missed it, maybe. This is a less. Uh, it could be good against Infinity. You know what? You know what I say? I say, screw it. I say, we going for it. I'm just going to spam this. You know what? Actually, I forgot. Against Infinity, Heights Lane is saved for Triceratops because of Laser Base Alpha. Whoopsie doozy. This should have gone in four, probably. 
And we'll see about making good trades here. If he plays like a gravestone here. <laughs> no, not too bad. Uh, dun, dun. I'm just thinking about where the Roto Vega is going. Uh, this is going to be a little sad having a 4 3 to deal with right now. But... Roto Vega plus Rockwall plus a uh, no, nothing well next game. Yeah, we didn't have the answer to that. See that barrel. Yep, we're on the 10 and 0 game here, guys. I haven't had a 10 and 0 in a, in a while, actually. With all the new decks we're experimenting with, this would be a cool way to get day. So again, I know, it could be smelly zombie. Um, th this play, I think, is really, really good. And we're just going to protect it. So this goes up to four now. It'll be... Oh, I didn't play around Flame Face, obviously. I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh, how did I not even think of that? What am I doing? Bye, Triceratops. Bye, Idiot Fry. I guess the consolation prize is that Roto Vega kills this, so. It kills both of them. I'm just gonna literally just double Roto Vega this turn. Why would I not play around Flame Face with a dead beard on the field? It doesn't make sense. Look at these two, man. Look at these two mega giga chat. This is just like a reskin from Garden Warfare 2 of Captain Deadbeard, right? Something like that. Look, they're the same. Show me the difference between these two pictures. There is no difference. You're stupid. Yeah, this is always going to be the play no matter what. Should I do this? No, that's so dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Another one, but doom. It's just damage. I can't spend these Rotobagas later anyway, usually. We're just making sure his field gets cleared in case he has, like, a bungee here. Could you not bungee? Oh, okay. Merker. Merker. Ow. Clank. We're doing eight. That's pretty good. Uh, it also prevented the... The swash... The, 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 this guy from growing, the con man. So I guess that's okay. Oh, now he grows. Could you put like a, a, a... God damn it. Maybe it's another swashbuckler. And then we'll win with the double Rotovega play. I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Come on, swashbuckler, please. Please! God damn it! You know what? We're gonna block and we're gonna... I don't know. Mog. Actually, if we roll a three... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I think this might be our, our loss. I think this is gonna be the one. Ow. Ouch. Okay, let's roll three. Damn it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is bad. This is mad bad. Okay, well, we lose anyway, right? We lose no matter what here. Because 3, 2, and 1 always happens. Arg! Yeah, we lost no matter what. We keep the card in our hand, the same thing happens. So. Oh, well. Oh, well, we lost the pirates. You know what? Infinity pirates will do that. We don't have grave removal. The only thing this deck really is missing is blockbuster. <laughs> it's all we really need, guys. Okay, one more game so we don't end on a loss. We'll get the 10 and 1. You guys got to see the 10. The 10 and 0. This isn't the same guy, right? No, 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 no. I ain't playing that guy again. I ain't playing the same guy again. That guy's name was 77. This guy's name is 12. Definitely not the same guy. We're gonna just die to Infinity Pirates eight games in a row now, watch. It's gonna be crazy. Nine and one. We're gonna get 10 and one. 
here's the redemption game, guys. This is infinity. What's the worst that can happen? God damn it. Okay, guys, guys. Everything's gonna be okay. He's gonna play Swashbuckler here. He's not gonna play around Rotobega because he's stupid. And this is how this is gonna go. Come on, Swash and Four. Come on. Come on. If he plays Swash in three, we're we're donezo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dun 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 dun. Another one, but the dun. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Okay, it's fine. Another one gone. Another one, yeah, I know. Well, we have two shrinking violets in this deck. That'll help. Another one bite the dust. Another one bite the dust. I gotta go. It's almost six o'clock here. Breath. Another one bite the dust. Another one gone. Another one gone. Uh, gravestone in three. We can just bog actually. Another one bite the dust. What is this guy? He's hacking. It's like hi hi hang. Okay, so this is a four three. It's pretty good. Do 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 do. Is there something with the lanes here that I'd rather this be here? I don't know why emotionally this feels better, but probably so we have more bog options. This is better. No no no. He's just gonna kill my two one, and it's gonna be very sad. Another one, but da da. I want another card to combine with our Citron Super, and we'll be fine. But we kill two out of three minions here. Okay. If that's all he does, I'm okay. Yes. So Command does one more damage. Now it dies for free. And we have the Citron to like win this trick. We get one more. Yes. Hallelujah, folks. What the hell? This guy's hacking. Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us just from just from these cards here. Whoa, wait. If this is a flame face, we lose. We just straight up lose. Sorry, it'll be four, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have to play around that, right? Oh my god. We have to play around it. How do we play around it? Ah! Well, at least we don't die yet. It's line dancing. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we lose. What's spring being the play? Oh no, we don't lose. Oh, that died. No, we didn't have. Maybe we're okay. Uh, well, we're gonna have to like YOLO this card and protect. We need to get a one or a two, which for beans, you know, it can happen. The good news is he didn't have flame face. And he's also doing one damage here. I guess we can play this and then just get Spring Bean. Actually, not there. Yeah, that's definitely the play now. Oh, now I think we lose no matter what. Well, no, he'll do one, one, and but this will die. Oh no, then this is the last one. See, the problem here, <laughs> the problem here is that this draws a card. This is the problem. So we'll take one, one, and one here. Yeah, we lose. We're still dead. Wait. Eight, yeah, there's no way of actually pushing lethal there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
All right, guys, you know what? We're going to hold it there. The, the moral of the story is, is that this deck beats everything except for pirates. Um, we need more shrinking violets. Here, I'll, I'll show you how to adapt the deck to pirates. We don't need all these spring beans, okay? We need more shrinking. We just need one more shrinking. That's all we really need. Maybe there's a way to add in some, like, uh, some blockbusters. Honestly, it's probably more important than the Brainana. Like, let's just cut this down. We'll add in, like, two blockbusters. And we'll add in one more Shrinking Violet. Shrinking's so good with the bog. The Shrinking Bog was good. See, this is the good deck right now. You don't need all the Brainanas. It seemed like the Brainanas were a little extra anyway. Alright, guys. Wait. Where did... Why did my... This be... Oh. I don't know why the, the Overwatch... Oh, it changed... The, <laughs> I don't know why. It changed a new thing. Guys, here's the deck, guys. Sorry, I, I know that was very confusing. Um, it's going to be minus two Brainanas. You add in one Shrinking. You add in two Blockbusters. And then I got rid of one Spring Beam. But yeah, man, that was a great stream. Won nine games in a row. This deck beats everything except Pirate. Now it beats Pirates too. See, this this version is going to be 10-0. This version is going to be 30-0. <laughs> Everyone's complaining because I messed up. I will see you guys in the next stream. Of course, that's going on YouTube. That was Snacktron. Love this deck. See you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.